Well, tonight's rant's going to be a little different. Not about Jeeps or anything like that. It's very simple. Let's take a news article. All these so-called sexual harassment things going on nowadays. You got newscasters, producers, congressmen, everybody else. All of a sudden getting fired and all this stuff for sexual harassment. I have no problem with that. If you did the crime, you do the time. The question I'm finding out, what I'm trying to find out, and this is to all the ladies out there, if anyone watch this video or anything. If somebody's sexually harassing you, are you going to wait four, five, six years for saying anything? Or are you going to turn around and just uh, deal with it right then? We're hearing all these reports on these congressmen, producers, and everything that's going on for years and years and years. Now, I can't say I, I understand a woman's mind. No man can. And yes, if a man does that, a man is wrong. But do the women have any responsibility in this dilemma? I mean, you walk around any of these cities out here, you see women dressed very provocatively. Nothing wrong with that. I enjoy seeing a turn of an ankle once in a while. But you also see women in restaurants and everything else. And, you know, you, I don't know. It's, it's a mindset, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I have been threatened with lawsuits just because I've told a woman she looked nice today. You know, my youth, your dress looks very fantastic. Thank you, you know. And I've been threatened to be sued for it, you know. So I, I don't understand where the line's drawn. Is sexual harassment just a compliment? Maybe some of the ladies out there on Google can tell me the difference. But, I don't know, it just seems, the facts don't seem, something seems screwed up to me. Maybe it's my old age. But you got these gals that supposedly put up with this stuff for seven or eight, nine years, and they said, oh, well, we needed a job, oh, we needed this, we needed that, blah, 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 blah. Now, all of a sudden, it's a big deal. You know, if it was such a big deal, and it traumatized you so much, wouldn't you have said something first off, right off the bat? I mean, trust me, I have no love for politicians or rich, dumb son of a bitches that do that. My personal belief is you treat a lady like a lady. You give her a compliment, fine and dandy. You're dating her, you can make a pass at her. If you ain't dating her, you don't make a pass at her. You know? But, that's the old redneck's opinion. I'd be very curious to what you women out here on Google say, or even guy's opinion. Am I right, or am I wrong? It ain't a one-sided street. It's a two-way street. Both parties are at fault. If it's so traumatic that it's affected you in such a way that you're just trying to get the guy fired or lose his position or whatever, I mean, don't you think you would have said something earlier? Leave your comments below. Email them to me at redneckrebel1956 at gmail.com. I'm really curious. Honest answer. Uh, I'd like some honest answers, women. Y'all feel like putting your name on it? Put your name on it. Let's get a debate going on it. Are these people just being paid by somebody to make a big deal out of it? Out of something that di didn't really happen? Or what? 
I'd be curious to hear what y'all say. As usual, that's just my little rant. If y'all get a chance, help out a veterans organization that's helping our returning vets. They don't want a hand out, they want a hand up. Let's all give them a hand, they stood the line for us. This vet salutes you, rednecks out.